our guest is uh, CMU wideout Jamal Williams. And uh, Jamal, you ended up with a big game last week at Avila. You had two touchdowns. You extended your touchdown streak to seven games, but uh, your, your first touchdown catch was a big one, and it broke the game open. Uh, take us kind of through that play because he had to make a couple plays individually, break a couple tackles to get there. Yeah, um, individually we kind of seen how the safety structure was kind of to the field swim. So we seen a valley where we could put the ball in. We put the ball in the place. One time before, but it was a little high because of pressure on the quarterback. But we got it there the second time. I was able to catch it, make two guys miss, and take it long for a long touchdown. You guys uh, really seem to have it going in, uh, offensively in the first half. That seems like about as uh, about as consistent as you've been over a half a play. Yeah, we, we, this year, first half, we're coming out more aggressive. Last year, we wasn't so aggressive coming out first half. It was kind of lag and come out second half and be more. But this year, we starting off good, and I just like the way it's moving all together. What was it like to have that kind of game in your hometown? Uh, I was just grateful for it. all my family, aunties, little cousins just been over here just to see me play. I'm just grateful for this moment. Just want to soak it in. Was that the first time some of them got to see you play in college? Uh, no, nah, my mom and dad, my brothers used to come to all my games, but I have one game here like every two years. I know my freshman year had a big game here at Alvarez in front of all my family, so just kind of used to it. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, Jamal Williams off the field. What are you doing now? What are you studying in school? Uh, I'm an accounting major, which is very tough and hard <laughs> to juggle with football in school. It's just it's hard, but I'm managing it right now. What was it that brought you out, uh, brought you out to see me in the first place? Um, just Coach Ford and Coach Perez, they had came to my house when I was back in, went to school in Raymore for my senior year, and just their presence and just the nature of the coaching staff, I just love it. You've uh, started off this season in a big way. Uh, what are, what goals have you set for yourself uh, for the rest of the year? Um, I don't really like to set touchdowns or reception goals. I just like to go out every game and just try to play hard. If I play hard every game, everything could come to me. And when it comes to me, i got to capture the moment and just take the moment and not be overwhelmed by it. As an offense, where do you guys feel like you can improve the most? Uh, playing a full game. I ain't going to say individually receivers, while I mean quarterbacks, running backs, just having a full game put together. And I hope this week when we play mid down, that's when we're going to see it. Jamal Williams, uh, good luck with the uh, accounting and the football and everything else, but it's been a lot of fun to watch you so far this year. We look forward to more. Um, just winning, having a winning season, making, make sure and Paul, Paul Stevens, making sure he goes out with a senior year bang with a winning record. That's my goal, and I tell him that every time. All right, well, so far you're trading water two and two. I look forward to more wins. Thanks, Jamal. Yes, sir. Thank you.